breaking news from London, where the High Court has just granted Julian Assange leave to appeal his extradition to the United States, Liz. Ah, oh, this is wonderful news. I mean, as, as Nigel Farage just said to Paul Murray, any confidence in the justice system in America right now is at an all-time low. And we knew that uh, Assange was never going to get a fair hearing in the States. They want to lock him up for 175 years if they get their way, which is just utterly ridiculous when you consider... Back in 2013, Manning's court-martial hearing showed via expert testimony that not only had no hacking happened, it couldn't have happened. Every single thing that Manning leaked to WikiLeaks, they had access to. She had access to already. Now, we know that she got let off scot free after a few years in prison. Obama pardoned her, let her go off. She's now being a DJ. But they're still hunting our guy for doing nothing more than publishing. They know he didn't hack it, then publishing classified information. And they are, as they have ever been, also way back in 2013, up against the same problem. And that is what they call the New York Times problem because they know that if they go after WikiLeaks for publishing classified information, they've got the New York Times and every other household name media outlet who has classified, uh, published classified information, they'd have to take them to court too. So this has always been an incredibly flimsy case, no matter how you spin it. He has every right to appeal. And I'm glad, especially after it came to light, that the CIA had had a few talks about potential potentially offing him, because, you know, that would really prove you're the good guys. Uh, they're so desperate to get rid of the problem of Assange. There were some talks about that happening. So there is absolutely no way he should ever be extradited to the US. And, and that's the basis of his appeal, isn't it, Caleb, that his extradition would be for political persecution, essentially, and that the absolutely. UK lawfully cannot do that.